All right, so I'm definitely getting uh, well into the cavern later now, I think. I have bats, and I have... Oh, yes, that is my first minecart track. I wasn't quite sure there. But yes, I have a minecart track, and uh, oh, there's another cavern over there. Or another cabin. <laughs> um, word stuck in my head, but yeah, I thought... Uh, oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Where am I even? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was falling a lot worse than that. Um, but yeah, there's another cabin. And I definitely saw... Crystal Heart, here it is. There it is. So that is exactly the kind of thing I am looking for. Exactly the reason that I am down here. Figured if I started digging my elevator, then uh, sooner or later I was going to run across some of this kind of stuff along the way. So it's kind of a two birds with one stone situation that way. Oh, and I've got a suspicious looking eye in here, which is perfect because I'm going to want that later. Um, hmm. Okay, I definitely want these. I will want to come back for that. Surprise, surprise, my inventory is full. Oh, look, a star statue as well. So yes, 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 some excellent stuff down here. Uh, but I'd better head back and dump my inventory before I continue exploring that area. These cave bats can be nasty, but uh, on the upside, if I'm lucky, if I fight enough of them, I might get a depth meter, which would be handy. Uh, let's pop in here and check out this little cabin. Yeah, I see a bookshelf in there. That'll save me needing to worry about getting one of those later, eventually. I would need one. Oh, gravitation potions. Perfect. That will also allow me to explore the sky. So yes, it is definitely worth getting underground eventually, of course. And I don't like digging randomly underground, which is why I had this idea that, you know what, I need to get underground, but let's do it with a purpose. I need to make a elevator anyway. I can see there's a little area under there, but I think I can go this way to get there. I like to keep mud around handy as well. It, uh, you do eventually kind of need mud, uh, mostly for chlorophyte farming. Also, eventually I'll want to uh, build a surface mushroom biome out of mud as well. That doesn't take a lot, but it's handy to have a bit of mud. Of course, if you spend any time at all in the underground jungle, you'll end up with some of that anyway. If you're digging at all. Okay, I guess that's all I was seeing there. I'm not even, uh, it's funny how desperate I was for tungsten for quite a while in the series, and now I'm not even bothering with it. There's amethyst there as well. Eh, not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to have to take some of these guys out. Figured the slimes, I could leave them at the surface, but what with the skeleton and the piranha... Gonna need the sword out. Okay. But yeah, let's uh, let's be a little bit thorough. Mm, I think those are emeralds there, maybe. At least I do have everything I need to fight skeletons now. <laughs> It's funny how pathetic I was for so long in the series. But this is the kind of way that you can actually, you know, you can get where you're going a little faster. Just by looting, essentially. Just by daring to go where you're afraid to go. And having a look around. Oh, and that is a whole giant wad of platinum. 
Actually, the funny thing is I don't need platinum that badly. The main thing I'm going to use platinum for is uh, actually Spelunker potions, which is not even... Actually, even that is, is something that uh, I don't really even need a lot because, of course, those are for looking for ores, among other things. It's, it's the other treasures, actually. It's a nice multi-level house. Beware the red button. <laughs> Means there's a trap here somewhere, but I just took out the activating device. Yeah, I have tons and tons of cobwebs now. I do have a loom. I should really make a sawmill. Finally craft a bed. Oh, there's some platinum bars. And once again, I think I've uh, maxed out my inventory. <laughs> it's funny, actually. I haven't really had uh, blood moons or anything. If I had a blood moon, now that I think I can maybe survive one, I could get the money trough, which, of course, is, uh, I believe, an update only accessory. Then I could get these guys, actually. <laughs> blood zombies. And the Dripplers, the sort of flying version of that. Oh, and I think that's a diamond, but my inventory is full. So let's go empty that again. Uh, but those guys, uh, those two types, the Blood Zombies and the Dripplers, you can get that money trough, which is a flying piggy bank. And then I could use all this extra room I've got here for stashing stuff. But for now, I'm just going to have to keep making trips. Oh, I get a robot hat. go with it. So we just found three worms down here. Let's see. Indeed, that is a diamond. I actually left all of my healing potions back at base camp because now I've got greater, well not greater, but regular healing potions instead of lesser healing potions down here. So let's keep exploring and see what else we can find. If I really needed stuff, I could collect all the silt. Put it through the extractinator. Actually, have a ton of platinum, as I say, which hilariously I don't necessarily really need. I have over a hundred platinum now in my uh, ores and bars chest, as I like to call it. Hopefully, soon I will find an underground mushroom biome, and I'll be able to use that to create a mushroom farm, glowing mushroom farm. be able to use that to turn those lesser healing potions into proper healing potions. Oh. Okay, these guys are actually reasonably tough at this stage of the game, especially an expert. But I guess if he doesn't get to hit me, it doesn't matter, right? Again, I could dig my way through all that silt, which is fairly quick to do. Might be something on the other side. Mostly I'm just looking for life crystals and, of course, to continue uh, and finish my elevator. I'm actually doing all right otherwise. But yeah, let's take the silt and sometimes there's something on the other side of it. I can use it for some quick cash and some easy ore. These days, I'm not a huge silk collector, but yeah, there's nothing on the other side here that I can see. But yeah, I've, I've gotten down where the caverns kind of go on a while. Now, I'm not so much afraid of this slime as afraid of landing on the button while also being attacked by the slime. <laughs> there's a button and a dart trap down there. 
Okay, there we go. Now I can safely see. If I can take out the button or the dart trap, then I won't die. And my inventory is full again, isn't it? <laughs> but we're making money. I must be pretty low down. I don't have a depth meter yet, so I'm not sure how far down I am. But I must be pretty low down to be getting this much platinum. This is only a medium world. I thought a large would be excessive, since it's just me. I don't really, really need the platinum, but uh, I don't know. It's hard to resist. <laughs> it's the highest tier uh, ore that I can get until I get down to the underworld, at least. And I can see there's something right through there, but yeah, it looks like I can go this way too. Okay. I kind of didn't really expect these cave complexes to just keep going and going and going like this. And that is a cave full of rubies. Wow. Anybody want rubies? <laughs> I don't have room in my inventory anyway. Yeah, there was a setting in the uh, world generator that I use for gem caves, but I didn't really, I don't really actually come across them much. I guess that's what they are. So that is certainly a cave full of gems. Did not expect this cave complex to necessarily keep going nearly this much. I got darkness from the slime. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> okay, I actually kind of just want to collect those other healing potions from that other little cabin. Yeah, this, this kind of keeps going and going. Wow, oh, there's exactly what I wanted. And exactly what I wanted and exactly what I wanted. Wow, three of them. Okay, well, I got to go for that. Ah, uh, yeah, good old recoil potions. Those can sit in the trash for now. Now, this is where I actually have to be careful because now I'm at 180 max health. And if I keep going, then the Eye of Cthulhu and the Goblin army will start spawning. Nice. Well, yeah, so I'm going to want to keep that other one anyway. Yeah, so once again, <laughs> another trip back. Pretty sure I checked this traveling merchant already. Skipped it on the recording, but I did. So that is not the end of the series, just the end of the episode. Please keep watching and stay tuned for the next episode, probably in about three weeks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.